send kids on a treasure hunt, the treasure being a book. Leave clues that lead them around the house to discover it in an unexpected place. If you're really into it, the clues can be related to the story. The magic of discovering a book at the end of the hunt will show your kids how valuable they can be. Next time you're riding the bus or subway together or sitting in the doctor's waiting room, pull out a book to read with your kid. It's a more interactive and sociable way to pass the time than letting her play on an iPad while you check your phone. Research shows that the best way to get kids to read is for them to see you reading. Yes. That means you are totally allowed to lie on the couch with a book, instead of getting down on the floor to build yet another tower or play with the dolls. Pick a classic that's been turned into a movie, Bridge to Terabithia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and read it together, a few chapters at a time. When you're finished, host a family movie night to watch the film version. It's a great way to motivate reluctant readers. Start a book reading club for your young children and some of their friends. This would be a fun activity that they look forward to, and yet another way to motivate them to read. As kids get older, the next logical step in having a book relationship with them is to start a laid-back parent-child book club. Parent-child reading sessions can be a crucial step in keeping kids reading as they enter their tween and teen years. It's also a wonderful opportunity to kick off discussions about issues they will face as they get older that they may not readily want to discuss, but will happily talk about if it comes up in a story you are reading together. Make a visit to the library at least once a week. Check in at the front desk before hitting the stacks to see what kind of activities might be going on. Even if you take your kid there for, say, a building project, he's going to associate the library with fun, and that's a good thing. When ingredients and instructions are read slowly many times, it improves comprehension. Get a cookbook at the library and let your child pick a meal to make with you. Ask her to read the recipe out loud while you chop. Then switch roles. Have her write out a menu too, incorporating writing in play also bolsters reading skills. 